sit down in any comfortable position. I'm sitting in Sukhasana, which is a comfortable pose in which you can simply take your leg and as they become comfortable, you place the leg there. And it's possible that your knees are coming off the ground, it's okay. You can have, you can put a pillow or a block under the knees, that will be helpful. And if your knee goes all the way down, not like me, then go ahead do it. But this is not anything advanced, this is completely beginner part. So this only depends on the, the mobility of the hips, so where, and also the knee, where my knee can be, whether here, here or there. So wherever you are, be happy with that because as we practice the yoga, is going to be good. So finding yourself comfortable and taking a few long deep breaths and allowing each breathe out to bring you more and more in the present moment. And getting ready for some yoga practice. Gently open your eyes. Go on to your knees. Open your knees and slide down all the way so that your chest begin to touch the ground. Forehead touches the ground if possible. Otherwise, take a block or a pillow or a fat folded blanket which you can put under your forehead. Now push with your hands and knees, come onto your knees and lift your hips off the ground, hips towards the ceiling, bringing your feet about hip wide open. Try pressing your chest towards the ground, move one leg at a time to give nice stretch in the back of your legs. Inhale, go to the plank, hold, keep breathing, and then bring your right foot forward, bring your knee down, push your hips towards the ground. Look forward or up. Now tuck your toes. Push with your toes. Come up. Bring your arms up. Inhale. Come together. Then bring your left foot onto the ground, 90 degree. Right knee is opening towards the right ear a bit. Palms out to the shoulder level. Breathe. Keep breathing. Now bring your chest forward. Hands on the ground. Move gently your foot a little bit away from your hands. Knee on the ground, bringing your elbow on the ground, interlock your fingers and enjoy the stretch around your hips, 
around your thighs, the hamstrings, the back. Now bring your hands on the ground, take the foot back to the center a little bit. Now keep your right hand on the ground and left hand goes towards the ceiling. Bring the hand down. Now right hand towards the ceiling. A nice gentle twist. Now, if possible, bring your hand around the back and this hand lifts up and bring it bring onto your right knee. So if, if it's possible then you can do it while you can skip this. But otherwise, if you do this, then it's gonna feel good. Now bring your hand on the ground and lift your knee back up, go back onto the warrior, side warrior. Both hands go back to the ground and mountain. Now, left foot forward, bringing knee down, toes down, pressing your hip down, look forward or up, enjoy the gentle stretch that you are feeling or tremendous stretch, it's going to give stretchings to your hips, your front thigh, your back. Now tuck your toes, push your knee up, go into warrior. Right foot onto the ground, 90 degree. Opening the left knee slightly towards the left, arms to the shoulder level. Now bring your hand on the ground, left foot goes slightly more to the left, knee goes on the ground, elbow on the ground, fingers interlocked. Left palm on the ground. The left foot comes a little bit back to the center. And right hand towards the sea. Right hand on the ground. Left hand towards the ceiling. Now bring the hand back. If possible, gently lifting the right hand and elbow onto the left leg. And down. Back to warrior. Side warrior. And back. Hands on the ground, mountain pose, and plank. Keep breathing whenever we're holding. Breathing is very important, so don't forget to breathe, don't choke. Now knee down. Chest down, chin down and hips up.
Hips down, toes down. Push with your hands, inhale, lifting your head up, shoulders up, chest up, and arching your back. Relaxing your shoulders. Come down. So tuck your toes, push with your hands, cat pose. Check your knees are about hip wide apart, hands shoulder wide apart. And with inhale, giving a nice stretch to your back, compressing your back, the vertebra by vertebra. Each vertebra is touching each other and giving nice compression. Exhale, punching, bringing your forehead, chin towards the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Nice rounding up the back. And releasing. Back to the center and sit onto your knees. From here. If sitting on the knee is not easy, then you can go ahead and stretch your legs. So I will show you the stretch leg as well. And stretch your legs. And bring your right foot by the side of the left knee. And try hug as much as possible with your left hand. Right hand goes on the back, left foot is active, so you can have the, the, this area nicely on the ground and you're not ro rolling back, backward. Back straight, inhale, and with exhale, twisting gently towards the right. Now keep breathing as you hold the asana. Good, back to the center and keep going to the other side a little bit. Good. Now changing the leg, repeating the same on the left side. Inhale, bringing your left hand on the back and twisting gently with each exhale you breathe out. Each breathe out, you're going further, further. Good, back to the center and keep going to the other side one more time to give a nice counter stretch to your spine. Good, and back to the center, stretching your legs, feet together, you make sure that the leg is not going to lift, you're going to twist to the right all the way with both hands, bring the hand wherever you can with the twist, slight twist. And keeping this leg now active and try not to move them. I mean, of course, they are going to be moving a little bit. It's okay. But try the best that you don't move as much. So we don't want to do this, right? So you keep the hip on the ground and going gently try and touch the forehead towards the ground. Good. This might it will give a nice stretch to all this body and stretching the fascias. The other side. One more time. Right side. And to the left. Good. Come back. A bend your knees. And roll onto your abdomen.
bring your elbow on the ground and your hands about shoulder width apart, palm on the ground and relaxing your shoulders, pulling the shoulders down so that you can come higher. This is going to give a nice stretch to your whole back area, especially the lower and upper back. If you only do this, then you will probably feel onto your lower back. But as soon as you lift, you're going to feel onto your upper back, onto your middle back as well, I'm feeling. So it really will depend on what kind of body type you are and how your spine is, where it's more flexible and that's how you're going to feel into different parts as well as I'm feeling stretchings onto my abdominal area. Good, come down. And now bringing your hands under the body chin on the ground and we're going to do gentle stretch for the lower back by lifting the right leg up down left leg up down right leg up down and the left leg down and go ahead relax for a moment to rest your back and your body a little bit good now bring your forehead on the ground bend your knees hold your ankles if possible but if holding your ankles is not possible with your hand, what you can do, you can have take a rope and hold it like this and probably you need somebody else to help you and then you can hold like this and then try and lift. But since I can hold my ankle and if you can hold the ankle, go ahead, do it, it's, it's going to stretch the whole body. After that, inhale, lift your head up, shoulders up, legs up and try lift all the way up possible relax your head relax your neck keep breathing and if possible try to do abdominal breathing slow and gentle movements of the breath control the breath and try to breathe in and out as deep as you can Come down. Now turn around and lie onto your back. Your feet together, hands by the side. Tuck your chin towards the chest. And then inhale, lift your both legs up. Push with your hands if possible. This posture is really good. Shoulder stand. It's a inversion pose and it's going to bring all the blood towards your face, your neck, your brain. So it really is it's called queen of the posture. So push with your hands, try and lift all the way, hips up, and then straight the legs out. Adjust your neck. If you want to adjust your posture, if you want the posture to be more straight, then if you can bring the elbow together, straight leg. However, it's not important how straight your legs are. If you're doing this, it's fine. Do this. Still bring the blood towards your neck, face and brain. Can go ahead, close your eyes and relax.
Good. To come down, you can bend your knees. Bring the knee towards your face a little bit. Keep holding with your hips so that you don't fall. And then very slowly roll yourself. Try not to lift the neck and head if possible. Stretching the legs out. Then bring your hands under the body. And then inhale, push with your elbows, come up. Now inhale, lifting your chest out and dropping your top of the head on the ground. Good. Now inhale, lift your head back up, look at your toes and drop your body down. And bring your feet apart, hands apart, palm facing upward the ceiling. And let go. And simply bring your awareness to each and every part of the body. As you move your awareness away from that part of the body, that part of the body will relax deeply. So for example, toes, becoming aware of the toes, relaxing them as you become aware and continue moving your awareness to your soles. As you move your awareness onto your soles, your toes relaxes already completely. Soles, the heels and ankles, your calf muscles, shin bones, knees and kneecaps, thighs, back of the thighs, buttocks and hip are completely relaxed. Becoming aware of the lower back, middle back, upper back, the shoulder blades and the whole of the spine, the shoulders, collarbones, chest, abdomen, whole abdomen and trunk, relax. Fingers, palms, wrists, forearm, elbows, upper arm, armpits, Shoulder, neck, throat, chin, lips, nose, cheeks, ears, temple, eyes, eyebrows. Forehead, top of the head, sides of the head, and back of the head. Whole body in completely relaxed position.
gently move your toes, fingers. Bring your feet together, give a good stretch to the body. Take your time. There's no rush. Gently turn to your right. Stay there for a moment. And then, whenever you're ready, push with your hand, sit up. In any comfortable position, Sukhasana, which is simply bringing your knee down wherever they are comfortable and feeling good. Becoming aware of how practice of yoga helping you calming down your mind relaxing your body, energized and uplifted. Rub your palm together. Bring the palm onto your face. Gently rub your face. Give thanks and prayer pose. And gently open your eyes. Thank you everyone, whoever joined me for this practice. And I will see you in my next practice session. Namaste.